Swift Slides is a new extension for Premiere Pro that enables you to create fast, simple slideshows. I've already imported some images here and I can rearrange them in icon view. I'll select them all and drag them into the timeline. I'll select everything in the timeline and check my settings. So I have fit to select music checked. I could also use a custom duration in seconds, but I'll leave it on fit to selected music. And instead of fit to height, I want to fill the screen. I'll leave random zoom at a maximum of 10% and I won't worry about transitions this first time. Now I'll click Swift Slides. And as you can see, that only takes a few moments and it will tell me that it's done and each slide is 1.82 seconds. Let's quickly preview that. You can see the random zoom added there. Now I'll just change some settings. I'll fit to height this time. I'll randomize the slide order. I'll add a bit of pan, maybe 3%. Let's do some drastic zoom. We'll change that to 30%. And we'll add, say, 10 frames for some transitions. You can hold Control and select multiple transitions. So I'll choose Additive Dissolve, Band Slide, just so we can see it, and Dip to Black, and click Swift Slides. Oh, and I forgot to select my images and audio first. So I just got a prompt reminding me to do that. Done. The transitions are based off Premiere Pro's default transition list. Let's have a quick preview. Great. And of course I could just click Swiss slides again if I wanted to change the order or randomize the order. And now I've got a new order for the images. We can also add videos. So I'm just going to delete these images. Drag these videos in. And I'll just rearrange those. And I want to add some images between these videos, so I'll go back to my images, select some. I don't need to worry about the gaps in between, I just select everything and it will fit and calculate the duration of the images according to the audio, because I still have fit to selected music checked. Uh, I'll change transitions back to zero, and we'll change this back to ten. Click Swiss Slides. I still had randomized slide order on, so that changed the order of the videos and the images. But that's okay. Of course, if we wanted the videos to also be edited, I can select edit videos. Now this will only shorten the videos. It won't extend the videos. Let's click again. Now each of the videos has been shortened if it wasn't already that duration or it wasn't shorter than that duration. And they're the same duration as the images. I decided I want to fill the screen instead of fit to the height, so I'll change that back. And I don't want to randomize the order, so I'll uncheck that and click it again. And we can see each slide is 6.92 seconds. 